guys, welcome back to our channel, or if this is your first time to our channel, welcome. My name is Brooke and I am a mom of four and I'm also a registered nurse. In our videos, you will see a lot of clean with me's, get ready with me's. We love theme parks, especially Disney. You can go through our content and see a few of our Disney trips, which we have slowly gotten more and more into the vlogging style of our Disney trips. So if you're interested in those, go ahead and check them out. My husband and I have been married for 11 years and we moved from Charleston, South Carolina to Austin, Texas. Next month will be two years since we've lived here. So we bought a house this past year and you will also see us slowly pull it together, decorate, and make some changes. You can see in the kitchen, we still have not put hardware on the cabinets. So that's definitely one of the top things that I want to get done soon. And in this video, I'm doing a quick clean with me, in just the kitchen and the refrigerator. My husband and I are starting a program called E2M. It stands for Eager to Motivate, and it is a health and fitness program that you can find on Facebook and gather more information. It's really nice. You have a whole support team, coaches, trainers, and all of the things to help you with your journey into feeling better. I think we could all agree that this last year has been pretty rough for everyone and so we are looking forward to a full reset and just feeling better overall. I don't know if I'm the only one, I don't think I am, but I uh, really struggled with a lot of anxiety over the last year and some feelings of isolation and so it really took a toll on my health and my mental state. And so I'm really looking forward to giving this program my all. I'm not a huge fan of the scale. I don't like to weigh myself. I'm not obsessive about weight because ultimately it's about feeling healthy, sleeping better, and reducing my anxiety. At the end of the video, I'm also going to do a mini meal prep. And actually when I was filming it, the Texas skies turned into doom and gloom. And so a part of the prep was unable to be seen because it was just so, so dark. And so I will show you kind of the beginning in the middle and somewhat of the end. <laughs> I'm curious if anyone has made any plans for your health, mental health, your well being throughout the pandemic or what you're doing now to kind of come back. I'm interested to see what all everyone is up to. One thing about this kitchen so, this was a build, so we picked most of the upgrades and things like that. And one thing I wanted to say is that kitchen faucet was not worth the upgrade. <laughs> it's one of those sensor, touch sensor faucets. And so it is on a battery pack, which is kind of strange. So we have actually already had to change the batteries in the faucet. And so I would not recommend one of those styles. I thought, you know, logically that was going to be very helpful and save water, which it does, but to have to change the batteries every four months is kind of crazy to me. So if you had been looking into a faucet like that, I would just maybe think of another option. When I'm doing the kitchen, I am cleaning all the cabinets. They all needed to be wiped down pretty good. 
They haven't been fully cleaned since we've moved in. I haven't done a full like deep clean of the house yet as far as really detailed stuff. And this again, I think I said in my last clean with me video, this is the Bissell cordless back and it's okay. It gets the job done on a small scale. If you have really heavy dirt or you need it to be very powerful, this is probably not going to be the cordless back that you want. I need to use this one because the rug, I don't have a, uh, a rug pad underneath my runner in the kitchen and so it moves very easily so I can't use my more powerful vacuum on it. So this is really nice for getting that rug clean. I kind of go over areas a couple of times and you can see, I mean, that's really why I don't think it's that great of a cordless. I do have to kind of go over some spaces more than once to get everything. You will also see my youngest Lane in the videos often. She's the only one that's home and not in preschool, daycare, or anything like that. So she's popping in. She is constantly making my cleaning twice as long, but she's kind of cute though. It's crazy because I think she is my most adventurous daredevil baby out of all four. She's kind of terrifying. She can climb up anything, get out of anything with very minimal equipment. <laughs> and now I'm just wiping down the fridge and there it is. It's one big mess. I threw quite a few things out. I'm sure if you're like me, I like to either finish everything before I start a new program or I just try to throw out as much as possible. Of course, there are some things that I do leave because we do have kids that are not participating in this program. So I need to have all of their things that they like to eat and stuff like that as well. So I do leave some things in there. I took all the drawers out, though I didn't do a full clean of those. I actually have recently cleaned the shelves in the fridge as well as the drawers. And I also cleaned the freezer. So I'm just wiping everything down. There's Lane trying to shut the doors while I'm cleaning. But I wipe everything down, you know, whenever you have meat and things like that, it just starts to get really gross in there. So cleaning all those shelves, it just makes it so much better, so much nicer and cleaner and fresher in there. So I'm gonna clean all that. All clean. Now I'm starting to compact or, or add the fruits that were in doubles and put them in just one bag and just slowly layering everything back in there. Taking, I love, I hate to have the cans in the box, so I take all those out so they're nice and easy to grab and go. Is there a certain way that you like to organize your refrigerator? I don't necessarily follow the vegetables and fruit advisors on the drawers. I kind of just, I, because our refrigerator just busts at the seams with fr fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. So I can't really do that. You can see all the drawers are filled with fruits and vegetables. Now I'm just starting to prep the food. I'm getting all the stems off these mushrooms and wiping them with just a damp napkin. 
That's the easiest way to clean them without either drying them out or soaking them in water. So it's the best way to get those guys nice and clean. Got some zucchini that I need to cut up and prep as well. I've really been loving zucchini. It's so crazy. I don't remember liking so many things when I was younger and now I just love it. You'll see I'm also going to make a quick little veggie saute to go on some scrambled eggs, which will be our first meal of this program. So. So I've put some of the vegetables in a container to save and put away so they're easily accessible whenever I cook during the week or to do the meal prep. And then I put some in a little bowl to the side that I am gonna use for these eggs. And I'm gonna go ahead and roast some of them as well. just a little bit of onion. I had half of an onion sitting in my fridge, so I went ahead and just diced that up really quick. Get my peppers all ready. I have the OXO veggie chopper that I love. It cuts down your prep so much. I like love it. I will leave it in the description box if you're interested in it as well. When I cut them up this fine, it's usually for me to either saute or put into a soup, things like that. Just using some avocado oil in a Pan, putting in some of those veggies. I'll saute those up a little bit and then I cut up some zucchini into smaller pieces and I throw those in there and then whenever it gets a little more done then I will throw in some mushrooms as well. And normally I will go ahead and throw in the eggs with the saute. I don't normally cook them separately, but because my husband and I need to have our portions separated, it was easier to go ahead and saute the vegetables and add them to the eggs later. Just getting a bunch of asparagus. Again, another vegetable that I don't think I ever liked as a child and I just love it now. I mean, and you, it just is so versatile. So just getting those three eggs scrambled, a little salt and pepper, throw those right into the pan. And I honestly, I think I might have had to heat up just a little too high with this first set because they did get just a little brown on the bottom, so turned it down for the second, second set, and of course, I gave this one to my husband. They're still good like that, though. I mean, really. the second batch and these you'll see they come out a little lighter so I'm curious how do you eat your eggs I love them almost any way there is to, to have them I love to make omelets my mother-in-law actually was the first person that I learned to make an omelet from so I really enjoy them and it's just like when they come out just right you just feel so accomplished. Just 
plating it. It was so delicious. So delicious. Then for the side, or on the side, I added some spinach and I sprayed it with a little bit of avocado oil spray, put some salt and pepper, and some lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Shake it up a little bit. Now, I do think that eating raw spinach takes a little bit of getting used to, especially if you don't mix it in with another type of lettuce, something more crunchier like romaine but it's not bad it's just very thin and very leafy these are the other vegetables that I set aside I really like these good and gather spices that I just got uh, they have no sugar in them no MSG no extra salt, so it's really nice. You can control your salt. And this is it, guys. This is what you did not see, the meat being cooked. This was when the weather just totally changed, but I made some taco meat, some chicken in the pressure cooker, and those hamburgers we had that night on the grill, so those were some extras, and some salmon. I just added some of the salad mix and a few of the peppers into the taco salad one, some fresh vegetables and olives in the other ones. Those are some pistachios, some hard boiled eggs for the easy to grab and go breakfast, some asparagus on that salad, and these are the extras that I have to cook with for the week. But well, that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope to give some updates on the program just in case that you're interested in joining. But I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you stick around and subscribe and continue hanging out with us for all different types of content. Thanks for watching. Bye.